Hi everyone, my name is Matangi Devindran. I'm from ME28 and I'm, and I'm also a part-time librarian in IMU. So today I'll be reviewing this book called Gabon's Review of Medical Physiology, the 26th edition that's on Access Medicine. So you can always access this web page from the IMU library portal and I'll be telling you why I like this textbook. So as you can see, this textbook is split up into seven subsections, which are all the components that you will find in the physical textbook as well and the main physiology components you learn in, in your studies in medical school. So as you can see, for example, in this first section, you find seven subsections over here. And just for an example, let's look at chapter three, immunity, infection, and inflammation. So what I like about this textbook is that it delivers information in very bite-sized chunks so that it's not too overwhelming, it's not too complicated, and you understand the concept well. So you can see that they have pictures and small clinical boxes to help you understand the relevance of understanding this physiological concept and also like more pictures for you to visualize what you're learning. And there's the option to download the picture to an offline um, site if you need to use it without an internet or if you want to favorite it into one of the folders just so you can access it easily next time you can always do that so that's nice about that feature in this online option and all you need to do to access these features is to download um, register an account with uh, access medicine that's on this top right corner over here and this access will be provided by IMU and it's completely free and you'll find that it's more personalized to you as you can see your recently viewed pages your recently done questions or your cases and there's also the option of downloading the chapter, the whole chapter if you need to, so that you don't need um, internet if you access it next time. And if you're writing a research paper and you're using this chapter, you can also always just click on the get citation and you get A and B citation, APA citation or ML citation over here, right here. So just a bit about the review questions I was telling you about. You can always do them at the top of this page right here. So just click on them. So it's quite easy to use because you can either decide whether you want to do questions throughout the whole book um, or you want to focus it on particular chapters that you're probably a bit weaker on. So for example, I just finished uh, my nervous system module and I found this posture uh, lecture particularly difficult. So I could do like 10 questions on this topic and all I need to do is start the quiz and they'll come up with questions for me. So I can always test my knowledge uh, once in a while to see how I'm doing with understanding the topic. So what about, I like about this textbook overall is that it's a very good companion for uh, my lecture notes because a lot of my physiological lectures, they use this textbook as the reference. So I find it easy to understand because um, the dots can be easily connected between the two different resources and it has more information in this textbook just to help me conceptualize the idea a bit better. And I believe that um, this textbook would suit any program that is um, learning physiology because they have, it's quite a comprehensive textbook. It has all the components of physiology that you need and I would highly recommend it because it's a very good textbook and it explains topics really well. So, if you have um, any questions about this textbook and how to access this, feel free to come to talk to any part-time librarian or even the library staff. We'll be happy to help you. And um, that's it. That's my review. I hope you find it easy and you found it useful. Thank you.